Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the November 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini. Welcome fellow Gemini. So happy to have you. Um, as always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, Gemini, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, so the last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take just a general look at November. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guide, so something to carry into the end of November. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, a healing note, and a crystal of the month for you. Well, let's see here, column number one, again, what's wrapping up and coming to a close. We have the card influence. I love the card influence, Gemini. It's such a good reminder of two things. It's a reminder to focus on the things that we have influence over, and it's a reminder of just how much we actually do influence. So all around good card. You've had a ton of influence, it seems like, these last few weeks. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look here and see what messages we have. Okay, the first card that we have is the Devil card. Immediately my mind went to overthinking Gemini. Um, there is something that happened these last few weeks that we are upset about, that we are spending a lot of time, and maybe not even upset, just something we are in general spending a lot of time thinking about. Um, that's not a bad thing, but the devil is like doing things in excess. Um, and in this case, I feel like maybe some of this thinking or some of these thoughts could have been excessive. Like we've been very caught up in this one thing and trying to process this one thing or process feelings about this one thing. Um, so that's the message I'm getting. Of course, we'll clarify that. The next card that we have is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of leaving a legacy. What I'm going to say, Gemini, is the right choice was made long term. And so whatever this is that we're thinking about, I do think it played out correctly. So keep that in mind. Um, this can also be a card of retirement. Congratulations for those of you that retired. Or this could be a large sum of money. Congratulations for you that received a large sum of money as well. Um, if you did get the large sum of money, definitely be very thoughtful on what you're spending. Again, that double card is that overdoing type energy. The next card that we have is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords looks a little gloomy, but it's actually a card I really like. If you take a look, everybody is facing away from us, their heads are hanging low, and their sword stuck in the boat. But the boat is moving in a forward, positive direction, Gemini. And that's just what we need. So again, trust that the correct decision was made and that we are um, on this journey. We're going through this transition. Some of you could have actually physically moved or relocated there. But let's see what clarifiers we have. The first card we have is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a card of being confident and being self-assured. And I don't know that you're feeling this, Gemini, but I'm telling you, just trust that the right thing happened, the right decision was made, the right outcome is what came. The next card that we have is the Lover's card. The Lover's card is definitely a love card, but anytime we have two of something on a card, it indicates a decision. And I think this is talking more about a decision. And again, I believe the outcome, the decision that you made, Gemini, was the right thing long term. Uh, especially if you made the choice to retire. Congratulations again for those of you. And at the bottom here, we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is a card of bully, theft, violence, abusive, toxic. There was something that was not right about this person, this situation, whatever it was, and that's what prompted you to make the decision you did. That's what prompted the overthinking. That's what caused you, again, I do feel like it was a decision. But that's what drove the decision. Something was not right on the other side here, Gemini. Again, we're going through the transition as part of the decision we made. But again, something was not right on the other side. So feel confident, feel self-assured that you did the correct thing. Now we're going to take a look at our next column, which is anything just general for November, what's coming. We have the card patterns. I think in terms of decoration, this is like one of my favorite cards, or excuse me, decoration, illustration. Um, 
But this is about getting rid of old habits and creating new habits and letting go of things of letting go of things that don't serve us, Gemini, and creating healthy patterns and habits. Likely there is a specific habit or pattern that this is referring to that you should change up. But let's see what messages we have for November. The first card we have is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is very active. It's new project, new creative idea. In this case, it's that new habit or pattern we were just talking about, Gemini. It's changing up. It's doing something different. Um, but now is a really good time. Start this change before the end of the year. There's no reason whatsoever to wait for the new year. Don't be that person, Gemini. Um, but embrace this new right now. Start this new pattern. Start this new habit, new activity, new creative idea. The next card we have is the Two of Swords. Again, that's the decision, I think, to pursue here, Gemini. It's a decision to take on this new activity, create this new habit, create this new pattern. Um, one thing I like to point out with the Two of Swords is sometimes it does feel like a compromise. It doesn't end up being a compromise, but again, it feels like a compromise in the moment. So you could be making this decision and it may not feel like rainbows and butterflies from the get-go. At the beginning, or excuse me, at the beginning, at the bottom here, Gemini, we have the Chariot. The Chariot is a card. Somebody once described it to me as the Vroom Vroom card. And this means there's action, there's change. We're on a journey. Um, this new activity, this decision that we make is really going to project us onto a new wonderful path. So embrace it and stick with it. This could also be uh, a new vehicle. So some of you could be getting a new vehicle, Gemini, going into uh, November. Let's take a look here and see what other messages we have. The first card we have is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a fantastic money card. This is a card of luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain. Um, it's interesting because I don't know if this new activity or new pattern or habit is directly going to lead to new money, but what I see is like flourishing. You're going to flourish, Gemini, which is a really wonderful thing to see. Um, this also makes you more self-sufficient, but that's not the way I want to say it. So let me think about this for a second. It's not about self-sufficiency. It's more about self-care and doing right by yourself. The next card that we have is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands, if you look, kind of looks like a finish line, like a celebration here. And it is a card of celebration. So again, although this decision may feel like a compromise at first, it's really going to be celebration worthy. You're going to be glad you did it. And there's going to be some support of family and friends. The Four of Wands having a strong connection to family and friends. At the bottom here, we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is very studious, very hardworking. Um, I wouldn't say that this will take an abundance of hard work, but with this transition and with this journey, it will take work, Gemini. Uh, but you'll be glad you did, of course. Like I said, we're seeing the celebration, we're seeing the success. Uh, it's great self-care, great doing for us. Um, so definitely going to be a win, but there will be some work associated with it, no doubt. Okay, let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. So think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, anything that you associate with money, Gemini. And the wand energy is coming through really strong in this column, so I do want to call that out really quickly. Fire, uh, wands are typically fire signs and also very creative. I know I've said creative ones too already. The first card in this row is the Fool card. The Fool card is the first card in the Major Arcana. It's fresh hope, taking chances, it's going on new paths, adventures. Um, I do feel like a lot of you are going to be getting a new job, Gemini, which is super exciting uh, with the Fool there. But it may not be a new job, it just could be a new project or a new opportunity or a new investment. But definitely some newness going into November. At the bottom here, we have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is a card of competition and feeling like you need to defend yourself. Uh, in your current role, I feel like in general, you're just kind of not feeling it, Gemini, but you're kind of like on edge. It's not happy. I don't know that self-defense is the right word, um, but maybe not being seen or heard could be part of it. Something is off, though. There is some sort of disconnect in the energy here, which is going to be driving you towards that new beginning. 
At the bottom here we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is very quick. It's speed, action, change. Things are going to happen very fast, so do anticipate this new beginning quickly, Gemini. The other thing I'm going to say about the Eight of Wands is there is a connection to social media with the Eight of Wands. Um, so just keep an eye on social media. If you are looking for a new job, perhaps it comes through a social media platform or someone in your network. Okay, taking a look at our clarifiers, the first clarifier we have is the death card. I always like to throw this out there. The death card does not mean death, Gemini, but it is a card of big changes, endings. It's an indicator that's time to move on. It's an indicator that's time to transition. So definitely as we get to this position where there's new opportunity, I would say go for it. You don't really get a much better pairing than the Fool and the Death card. It's very clear that this new beginning is the right thing to do because you need to end whatever is currently happening. Um, so definitely go through this transformation. Again, I encourage you to take that new beginning. The Death card is saying it's time to go. The next card we have is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is a card of having to make a choice. Uh, it's kind of multitasking and weighing your options. If you are taking, like, let's say, an example of a new job, you'll want to kind of weigh the pros and cons. Again, I would say just the newness is going to outweigh anything in the existing world. Um, but do make sure you take a step back and just weigh your options. But I think this, more than anything, is reflecting the decision being made. At the bottom card, we have the moon here. The moon is um, trusting your intuition, um, knowing what you need to do and when you need to do it. One thing I'm going to say with the moon card is with the eight of wands, since this is coming so quickly, you may not have all of the information to weigh things out what you would like to, Gemini. And that's why your intuition is going to be so important. You don't have every detail and every fact, um, so you're going to have to use your gut to kind of do that that gut check instead. Okay, moving on, let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to love. So think family, friends, children, marriage, uh, whatever you associate with love, Gemini. The first card that we have is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very strategic, very long-term. Um, for those of you entering into a new relationship, it does feel like very long-term energy. For those of you in a relationship, it looks really happy, healthy, successful. One thing I want to throw out here is with the King of Swords, the King of Swords is very intentional. And I don't know what you need to be intentional about, Gemini, but something related to love you should and could be more intentional on. Um, the King of Swords is also about seeking professionals. So, and I'm going to throw out an example that I know is not relevant likely for any of you, but just to give an example of getting professional help, let's say if you're having car troubles, take your car to the mechanic. So... Whatever, however that resonates, don't hesitate to seek professional help in November. The next card that we have is the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a great card. It's a card of victory, award, recognition, good news, success. Again, this is just a really happy, healthy, successful relationship. Things look good. Or again, if you're entering into a new relationship, I see it, be, I see it being successful for you. Um, if you're trying to conceive, this seems like success and trying to conceive as well. The next card that we have is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a card of being resourceful with our resources, but it fits into the love column very well. It's very domestic. Um, so again, if you're wanting a new relationship, this is a great card. If you're wanting engagement or marriage, this is a great card for you. Also a card of fertility. So if you're trying to conceive some really great cards for you in this lineup this month. Well, let's go ahead and clarify here, Gemini. The first clarifier we have is the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card of anxiety, grief, depression. Again, if something is not right, I would encourage you to uh, get professional help. The other thing I'm going to say about this, though, is with the King of Swords, it's all about being intentional. So if you're not feeling good about something or if you need something or not receiving, of course, communicate that. So rather than just being quiet and not feeling good with the Nine of Swords, uh, be intentional, Gemini. 
The next card we have is the Magician. The Magician is a great card. It's a card of focus, creativity. It's turning your visions into reality. Anything is possible with the Magician. So again, whatever you want, you're going to have success in it. So if you're looking to get married, if you want a new relationship, if you want to stay single, if you want to have a baby, the Magician will give you whatever you want. And it's paired on that Six of Wands, which is that success card. At the bottom here, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of expansion, so definitely many of your relationships are expanding. Again, fertility comes with expansion. Um, this could also be a card of travel. If you're going to be traveling, make sure you are, this is such a weird message, make sure that you're maximizing your vacation. So like fly in at times that give you lots of time in a place and fly out at a time that gives you lots of time. Um, maybe stay at a little bit cheaper of a hotel so you can do more experiences. So if you're going to travel, uh, be resourceful with that travel. Okay, Gemini, let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card alchemy. Alchemy is an interesting one, but alchemy is like the ability to have an issue, know that there's an issue, and almost like downplay it. It's about overcoming obstacles and minimizing obstacles to the point where they don't bother us. So definitely have a kind of an overcoming mindset this month where nothing can derail you, nothing can slow you down, nothing can bring you down. Let's see here. The first card that we have is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of apathy or feeling unfulfilled. It's just telling you, like, you have to have that mentality or that mindset, Gemini, of nothing can bring you down. I think it's easy to fall into this place of, like, I don't want to call victim, but, like, where you're feeling low or you're like, why is all these things happening? This just doesn't feel good. We need to stay away from this feeling of apathy. Um, you need to redirect any energy to any re direct negative energy into something positive like the eight of pentacles is very hard work and it's like instead of getting down i hate this message but instead of getting down work harder kind of thing um it's about redirecting that energy an example and again not relevant but just to give context here um professional sports players they get nervous before a sporting event and but rather than being nervous they turn that energy into becoming a better athlete and so we need that type of energy this month gemini any low feelings or negative feelings be repurposed into something positive positive. and at the bottom here we have the lover's card this is a card of love. It's a card of partnership, deep love, strength together. But anytime we have two of something on a card, it also indicates a decision. And I think the decision is going to be what's important this month, Gemini. And it's what we do with these low feelings. We can either stay with the low feelings and not feel very good, or we can repurpose them into something better. Quick clarifying here and see what other messages we have. First up, we have the Four of Swords on top of the Four of Cups. This is a card of needing to rest, retreat, renew, recover. And I'm actually going to throw this out there. It's not a meeting, but this is repurpose. Again, repurpose this low energy into something positive and meaningful, Gemini. The next card we have is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a card of nurturing, healing, support, the best thing that we can do absolutely is to redirect energy, refocus, um, and again, when things get hard, just work a little bit harder. If you look at the cup on this card, it's not really a cup, it's more like a trophy Gemini, and that's the reward that we'll get from this hard work. At the bottom here, we have the Four of Pentacles, and this is our desire to accomplish something. This is the motivation to keep working harder. This is the decision to work harder versus be upset, Gemini. Okay, at this time, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to take, uh, we're going to use the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling Deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the Five of Clubs. This is number 33 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two is the seven of clubs. This is number 20 card. That's also a yes. And question number three, we have the three of hearts. This is number one card. That's also a yes. Look at those very bright and positive yeses, Gemini. Three yeses across the board. We're also going to pull a card from our healing stones deck. This is a crystal to keep with you through the month of November. You have fire opal this month, which is good for passion. Uh, it's good for being spontaneous. It's like the firework crystal that keeps you cheerful, keeps you creative, and keeps you passionate. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our healing notes deck. 
Your healing note says, we don't know how strong we are until strong is the only choice we have. Thank you so much, Gemini, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Gemini, and hope you have a wonderful November.